Hey, my name is Petra, I'm a Hungarian living in Budapest and today I'm going to guide you along a week in my life and show you how much I spend during this amount of time and also talk about stuff related to everyday costs in Budapest. Hopefully this video will help you to get a better picture about this topic, so let's jump right into it! The first and most important thing in my opinion is renting. I live in the 14th district, which is a little further from the city center, in a flat that has one bedroom, one living room that is open to the kitchen, a bathroom with a toilet and with a little entrance hall. It's not a big flat whatsoever, but it's enough for the two of us. We pay 180,000 forints per month, which is just the renting price and we also have to pay the common cost, which is 14 thousand forints and for other bills the electricity the gas and the water we pay around 10,000 forints per month which some Hungarian might say it's ridiculously low but it is what it is I don't know why it's that low I was surprised in the beginning as well but now it's a common thing and we only pay 10,000 forints in average sometimes it's even smaller so that's it. So that means we pay around 204,000 forints and if we divide it by two that's 102,000 forints. Now to stick to our weekly spendings that would mean that I pay 25,000 forints per week for this flat which I don't know it's weird to say but Okay, so that was enough about the renting costs and let's see how much grocery shopping here in Budapest cost. In this week we went for smaller grocery shopping once and the bigger one on the weekend. For our smaller grocery shopping we went to the Cebia Prima, which is one of the most expensive grocery shop chain in Hungary, but you can still find good deals there as well. And considering the fact that that's the only place that's in our way when we go back home, for us it's worth it. We always divide our expenses by two, so after we bought some necessary things, we ended up paying 1,500 forints. For bread, we always go to a bakery where you can find a lot of amazing other things so I really recommend you to check them out when you're here in Budapest because they are like the paradise I think <laughs> I really really like them but on that day we were strong and we resisted the temptation so we only bought one bread and that's all and that costs 600 forints we bought bread this week two times so that's 600 forints per person. After that we checked out the Chinese shop that's next to this bakery and I bought some coffee and some ramen noodles. I paid 1500 forints. I really recommend you these Chinese shops because you can literally find there everything you can imagine but for a cheaper price and nowadays it's such a widespread Thing in Budapest that you can really find it everywhere in the city. From time to time I really like to get lost in these shops. My favorite things there are snacks and things for crafting and other stuff that I wouldn't find anywhere else. So I spend a lot of time there. So that's why I recommend it to you as well. On the weekend we went for a bigger grocery shopping and the destination was the little which is one of the best and cheapest grocery shop chain here in Budapest and all around Hungary. The prices and the variety of the products are the best in my opinion and there are always many great deals with the little plus digital card which you can also use if you download the app. It's a pretty easy way to save some money. Here we 
paid altogether 7,600 forints and if we divide it by two that means we paid 3,800 forints per person which is I think really nice. I have to add that we didn't buy any meat so if we would have bought some chicken breasts that would mean we would have paid 1,000 forints more per person since half a kilogram of chicken breast is around 1000 forints so after this we went to the bakery and we bought four buns for some homemade hamburgers we paid 160 forints per person Speaking of homemade, I really believe that you can save the most amount of money if you cook at home and you prepare yourself some food for the week. That's why I spend most of my Sunday afternoon with cooking. During this weekend I also try to cook at home. So for example today I'm going to make a pizza for maybe like 500 forints instead of eating out for 4000 forints because I think that's the average price of a pizza nowadays, so we're saving money. this we can save at least 15,000 foreign per person because a lunch for one person could cost around 3,000 forints a day so that's a huge amount of money many places offer daily menus though which are a little cheaper they are around 2,000 forints but I still prefer to not to spend my money on them so if you have the chance make yourself some food at least some sandwiches and you're good to go when we eat out for dinner we mostly go to fast food restaurants because they have many good deals with coupons and stuff like that but since they are not the best to our health it's good to find other places that you can go to. It's an obvious choice to eat at a shopping center which can be really good but if we're talking about Turkish, Greek or Chinese food I think the prices in a shopping center are much higher than these restaurants outside of it and I also have to mention that I have very very bad experiences with the Chinese food at shopping centers my stomach could tell many stories about them so please consider buying those food somewhere else other chains like fast food restaurants like KFC, Burger King and even the Italian restaurant Bellozzo, Bamba Marha and stuff like that they probably sell for the same price as far as I know and as far as I experienced it so those are good but these individual shops, these individual restaurants are probably more expensive in a shopping center so keep that in mind if you're interested in where we eat out in Budapest then please subscribe to my channel and you won't miss out our recommendations. All in all I think it's pretty easy to get information before you go and eat out somewhere because the Google Maps has thousands of recommendations and ratings about each place and many of them share their menus online so I would really recommend you to check them out before you go and you won't bump into any surprises. We spent around 14,000 forints during this week so that means if we divide it by two we paid 7,000 forints for eating out but at many places we could pay with Széchenyi card which is a very common fringe benefit here in Hungary so in this way I wouldn't count this amount of money into our weekly costs I only mentioned it just to give you really the full picture I talked about the Széchenyi card in one of my older videos so if you're interested in this topic then check this one out but only after you watch this video. I also went to a drugstore this week 
The two main ones in Hungary are the M and the Rossmann and I couldn't really tell any differences between the two. The product variety is pretty much the same just with other names and even the prices are kind of the same so you can go into both you won't be disappointed I think. Here you can see the main things I buy there just to give you some idea about the prices but in this week I only paid there 2500 for it. Once in a week I also go to a grocery store before work just to grab something for the week, most of the time some fruits and drinks, but that's really not a big expense. I probably pay a little more than 1000 for it per week on things like this. There's still one important thing that has to be mentioned and these are the traveling costs here in Budapest. The public transport in Budapest is very dense and considered to be very good so I really recommend you to go by public transport and I think the prices are also quite normal. I use the annual pass but my workplace paid for it which is a very common practice here in Hungary and in Budapest so I wouldn't include it in my weekly expenses. I will leave a link though in the description box about the prices of the public transport so if you're interested check it out. I think this includes everything we normally and regularly spend our money on during a week. If we add the normal costs up, I would say that we spend roughly 15,000 to 20,000 forints and I'm pretty okay with it. And if we add the weekly renting cost to this amount, that would be around 40,000 forints. I hope that one day this could be more since my dream is to recommend you more places and restaurants that are a little more expensive than the ones I recommend you before. Right now I don't really have the opportunity to do these kind of things. I only recommended you places that are mostly free because that's the only thing I can afford and that's why I created this coffee page for that you can find a link in the description where you can tip me for the price of a coffee and I hope that in the future once I become monetized I can spend more money on creating videos but for now all I want to say is see you in the next one bye